Hey guys, welcome to uh, Trending Reviews. So today uh, I've got the OnePlus 5T and I'm just going to go through some uh, points with you um, on some of the features which you may not know about. Um, so this is OnePlus's uh, flagship phone. Uh, it comes under £499 um, and it comes with uh, a lot of uh, features packed in uh, to this device that you see on uh, various other phones today like Samsung and iPhone 10 and so on. Um, so you may have seen the reviews on this uh, online on YouTube already but I'm going to give you a quick run through of some of the cool features uh, which you probably didn't know about that the OnePlus, T, uh, OnePlus 5T can do. First off, uh, I'm going to go through uh, an option called reading mode. So this is something that resembles a uh, Kindle. Um, now, if you're reading your phone uh, articles or books or ebooks or anything like that um, in low lighting, uh, possibly at night time, you can turn on reading mode to uh, dim the screen into more of a sepia filter. Uh, by doing that, you need to go into settings. Uh, if you scroll down to display, from here, if you go into uh, reading mode, you have the option to turn on reading mode and you should see it change into a lighter, uh, easier on the eyes um, condition for reading. So it's got that yellow tint, a um, bit like a sepia filter and it just makes it easier on the eyes when you're reading uh, in darkness. The uh, next point, is uh, gestures. So if you go into settings and then gestures, you'll see uh, a lot of options here, uh, which makes it a little bit easier to control your device. It has a six inch screen, so uh, you would probably want to be able to do various things a little bit easier if you're just using the phone with one hand. Um, one thing I like to use on uh, a lot of my phones is the uh, swipe fingerprint for notifications. So if I turn that on, uh, now what that is on the back, you can uh, swipe down on the uh, fingerprint sensor uh, and that should bring down the um, notification bar like so. Uh, it's just easier when you're holding the phone with one hand having to uh, uh, swipe down from the top. Um, as well as that, if you wanted to take screenshots you can uh, go into the three finger screenshot uh, option here and turn that on. Now if you swipe with three fingers uh, it will take a screenshot um, of whatever app you're using. Uh, and that's really convenient and there's also various other uh, controls that you can use uh, to uh, do various different gestures and uh, control your device a little bit easier. The next feature I've seen here uh, on the OnePlus 5T which I haven't come across uh, in various other phones is the option to have parallel apps. Now what this means uh, is you can have uh, two different applications um, of the same app uh, for example Facebook um, if you have two accounts, maybe one is your personal account or one is your business account, um, but instead of having to log in and log out every single time on the same app, you can uh, uh, have two apps which are logged into both separate accounts. So if you go into settings, apps, and then parallel apps, at the moment it's set to uh, social networks, um, which are the most common uses for having a parallel app. If I turn on Facebook here, and uh, I'll go back to my app drawer, if I scroll down, you can see I have two Facebook uh, applications now, one there and one there. Um, if I turn it back off, and you'll be able to log in separately with that. If I go back, you can see there's only one app for Facebook now again. And that's really useful, you can do that for all the different social networks which you might have two uh, accounts for. Uh, another feature if you go back into settings, uh, this is called alert slider. Now if you go into alert slider option, um, now on the left hand side of the phone um, you'll see that there's a sort of a switch. Now this switch here, you can generally find this on iPhones to uh, put your phone on silent when someone is ringing. Um, but the OnePlus 5T has three options, it comes with uh, silent, ring and do not disturb. Uh, and this slides down uh, with two different clicks on, the, on its way up. 
Now, there's a really good option here is you can customize the alert slider um, and select different various options for each of the uh, um, positions of the slider itself. Uh, so for example, ring, you have the option to uh, vibrate for calls. Uh, if you go to do not disturb, this is the one that will have the most options. Uh, you can set it to uh, manage favorite contacts, um, alert on various uh, events, um, allow notification lights to be used, um, and so on. So it allows you to play around uh, with the options for this um, rather than keeping it at its standard defaults. Um, but the do not disturb option has the uh, most flexibility. Um, you can also allow certain contacts uh, to call and send messages uh, by pressing caller messages and, and selecting your preferred contacts um, from the settings here. Um, you can also toggle on event reminders like I mentioned. Um, another one is on the uh, camera. Um, now the Google Pixel 2 is currently dominating the uh, camera usage at the moment with the uh, portrait mode. Now. The OnePlus 5T also comes with that as well, um, and that has something called depth effect, um, and it allows you to uh, take a picture of an object close by. So for example, if I take one of my laptop, uh, you'll be able to see here that it's um, sort of blurred the background and uh, focused itself on the laptop itself, and it's given sort of an SLR feeling uh, to that picture. Uh, and that's really good if anyone was considering um, getting the Pixel 2 uh, as opposed to the OnePlus 5T um, then that would uh, obviously sway their opinion as well um, based on like prices and so on. Uh, the final thing I wanted to show you uh, is how to take screenshots. Uh, now sometimes you need to take a screenshot of a, a little bit more than what you can see on your screen. Um, so if I take an example um, of this web page and I want to take a little bit uh, a screenshot a little bit more of just what I see there um, for example more details or um, descriptions and that kind of stuff then this is how you do it okay so there's two ways to take screenshots um, using gestures which I've turned on in the settings I can swipe with three fingers to the right or I can hold down the volume down and the power buttons at the same time um, and if I wanted to take a screenshot of more than just the top of the page or something that you see just in the viewfinder um, you'll see an option to do that so if I Take the screenshot, there's an option there at the bottom, uh, the second to last icon of a square. It will start scrolling the page itself until you tap and once you've done that it will stop and will give you a screenshot of the entire page uh, until you've told it to stop. And that's really useful if you wanted to send information to anyone of more than just the, the part of the screen that you see. So guys, those are the uh, uh, the main features that I uh, think stand out on the OnePlus 5T. Um, hopefully you found that useful. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you think is a, a really standout feature on this phone. Um, or if there's anything else you'd like um, other people to know. Um, otherwise, please do like uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.